Hi everyone, Vicki Verley here, Rock and Roll Prophetess. Thanks for joining me for the March of 2017 Terrascope with Animal Totem reading, free readings for YouTube. As always, we're going to use the My Deck, the Rock and Roll Tarot Deck for the Tarot readings. Then we're going to pull one card from the Beast Mistress Oracle cards, also My Deck, uh, for each sign of the zodiac. Check out my site, you can find out how to get the decks and the books. If you're into uh, love readings, and this month I'm going to be on Vimeo, I do Vimeo love readings specifically every month. For March, I'm using the Hanson Roberts deck, which many of you remember used to be my main deck that I always use in the videos, and I know a lot of you this was a favorite deck. Uh, and where people didn't like it when it went away. Some didn't, but um, I'm using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck for, all the time. I use a smaller deck on there because I lay out a lot of cards for those love readings, and I give it, um, you know, I give it a lot of, it's from two perspective, and it's a lot more, I need a lot more space and a lot more room. It's $2 and some change. Head over to Vimeo. In the meantime, we're going to do the March free readings on YouTube are coming up next after a brief message on how my readings work. If you want to know how my readings work, go ahead and skip ahead. I look forward to doing your reading for March. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life, and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to the... Hi Pisces, thanks for joining me for the March readings. Let's get right into it. But for Pisces in March of 2017, now we're coming off of uh, that eclipse in your sign at the end of February, and as, a, and as I'm recording this, that eclipse has yet to come. It's uh, the 26th of February, so if you're watching this ahead of time, just a little reminder about that. Also, happy birthday to all you, I was going to say all you Scorpios, but it's actually all you Pisces, because I know a lot of you, probably the majority of you, um, birthdays are in March for Pisces. So let's see what we've got going on here. Um, also, if your birthday, the solar return is very important. That's the day of your birthday, you know, usually, it's give or take. But your birthday is important. There's more to it than you know what it's evolved into a birthday cake and all that kind of stuff and gifts. It's an important day because it's your solar return, and that's an important day to manifest what you want. It's your solar new year every year, so it's very important. And then of course your new moon. But but we had your new moon um, last month. Let me get a quick drink of water, and we're going to get into these cards. Uh, Wheel of Fortune was the first card out, so that's sweet. You know, Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny is taken hold. Wheel is also uh, things taking a turn for the better. You know, things are kind of just turning around. It's also kind of like a Uranus energy, too. It's meaning things could happen unexpectedly, out of the blue. You know, with those eclipses bring big changes for everybody. And uh, with the, chip, um, the eclipse in your chart, in your house, in your sign... It's even more um, impact, impactful for you, or it can be. Uh, for some of you, it looks like there's some money stuff coming up. You could win some money. If you were going to go gambling, this would be a good time to go gambling, especially right around your birthday. Because um, you could say, like, you could win a big pile of money, you wouldn't have to worry anymore. It's also just saying, don't worry about money. Don't worry about... Here's what I want to tell you. It's saying, don't worry about the hows or the whys. You've got a couple cards here, actually like three, of kind of like going within. You've got the... Um, High Priestess, you've got the Four of Swords, and then this this is also kind of like looking at the past, but it's sort of like an inward card as well. But I'm feeling like, you know, it, it's time to go inward, even though when you're, you're, the sun's in your sign, you really want to strike out. Uh, it's about going within, and you guys are very um, psychic and spiritual anyway. You're the most psychic sign of the whole zodiac. So it's not it's not a stretch for you. You know, you're inclined to do that anyway. That's kind of natural vibes, you know. It's kind of a natural vibes to sense and feel things. So, um, this going within, you're going to get your answers. Don't 
don't focus on how, why, you know, how's it going to happen. I want every detail. Um, what do I? I don't feel like you really have to. It's not a big month of action. That's what, another thing I want to tell you. It's kind of a, a card. Um, I mean, a month of just kind of going in, creating the energy, being in the energy, getting that vibe going, and then with the wheel, it'll all. It's all going to attract to you. You want to be the magnet that attracts, not the force that you know. It's not a month to be outwardly forceful. It's it's a it's a month to be in your power because your solar return and the eclipse and everything in your in your power in your center. Visualize, feel what you want, feel it, sense it, taste it, and pull it in. That's this month for you guys. All right, now getting down to this row. Um, there does seem to be some kind of a, you know, there was, you're missing somebody. For some of you, you're missing somebody and they're going to show up again. Now, it's showing up as Queen of Rods, so that could be a fire sign. That's a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Or, that could be happening in the time of fire, which isn't a, the big event of March. We are going to have the equinox, the vernal equinox, or spring or fall equinox, depending on your location. And even if it's the fall equinox, if you're in the southern hemisphere and it's the fall equinox for you, it's still a time of new beginnings. Because uh, the time of Pisces, your sign, we finish up. It's the twelfth sign of the zodiac. It's completion. And then we come around again for the new beginning, the new... Um, it's really kind of like the new um, astrology year, you know, the, the Aries new moon, the, the uh, vernal equinox. The cardinal ingress is always the change of the seasons. I don't want to get too technical into the astrology here, but could very well be on or about that date, which is the 20th, if I did not mention that, or after, as we move into the sign of Aries. But it is, there will be a reconciliation for many of you. It could be a big reconciliation with somebody that you had a falling out with, um, and they may show up again. Again, I don't see you going, trying to make amends. I feel like, again, you be the magnet, you know, and draw this energy to you. This is what it's going to be about this this month. Something else that you've been really stressed about, and when I looked at this card, that word crisis really stood out to me. So if you're in a crisis, or somebody you know is in a crisis, um, this emperor is showing up here, and it seems like it's really going to help things for you, turn things around. Somehow um, be your knight in shining armor, coming to your emotional rescue. <laughs> That song was just in a movie or something, I think. That's where I, I, it came back into my consciousness. But that definitely just came message from spirit. Um, I'll be your knight in shining armor, coming to your emotional rescue. But that's what it, this feels like. Uh, norm, in regular, just flat-out tarot, forget about emotional rescue. <laughs> I mean, I could. I've been looking up some of these lyrics lately. People seem to like it, because... I'll say a song, and then I forget it. And then sometimes the lyrics have something else that we want to talk about in the reading, you know, so sometimes it's better to just look it up. I knew when I met you I had a friend very deeply, love lived within, but somehow we got, we got loose, we got loose from what we, from what was oh so tight. Somewhere we went wrong, we were oh so right. Well that could be this, we had a fight, we had a falling out. What a man, to, what's a man to do when he just can't take no more? What am I to do when my heart leads me to the door? Now I've tried and tried again, but now this is the end. Tell me what's the use holding on if we can't be friends. I'm emotional. Is this the right song? This doesn't even seem the right song. This isn't. <laughs> well, that's weird. That's even weirder and freakier, isn't it? <laughs> I just said, yeah, emotional rescue. Because uh, then it's saying I'm emotional and I can't let go. I'm trying to hold on to you, though it hurts me so. Got to let you know that the love we once shared now is through. Say goodbye to you. You seem to hurt me purposely. I didn't understand it. Oh girl, why me? I had no choice. What was the best for us was to terminate our love and to be free. Hmm. Well, that sounds like very much the energy of this though and this, you know. Um, I don't even know who is the artist of this song. Oh, it's Carl Thomas. I never heard of this. <laughs> oh, it's just called Emotional. Oh, because I put too many spaces in there. But I think I was meant to read those lyrics, too. That was really freaky. Yeah, I was talking about the Stones' emotional rescue. Uh, I'll, I'll just take a quick peek at the Stones' one and see if there's anything in there. Is there nothing I can say, nothing I can do? 
I'm so in love with you. You're in too deep but can't get out. You're just a poor girl in a rich man's house. Yeah, baby, I'm crying over you. Kind of the same message. Don't you know promises were never meant to keep? Hmm. Just like the night they dissolved off in sleep. I'll be your savior, steadfast and true. That's what I was trying to get to. <laughs> I'll be your savior, steadfast and true. I'll come to your emotional rescue. But there's it's at the end where he's saying, I'll be your knight in shining armor, coming to your emotional rescue. Yeah, the very last word. Riding across the desert on a fine Arab charger. That might have some and you know meaning for some of you all right i'm sorry i went too long with those lyrics but those first lyrics that was so weird that it gave me the wrong one because i'm a firm believer too if it gives you the wrong sometimes you pick the wrong thing you think you're you know whenever that stuff happens i'm i don't beat myself up about it i know that it's spirit coming through and there's a message there too you know i don't say oh you're such a dumbass why did you look at the wrong thing you know don't be and that's something maybe you guys should do too you know, if you're, if, and maybe this was just, that could be the message for you, because I'm, this is what, this pulls me, this pulls me, pulls me, pulls me, this, um, high priestess for you, so really, and even her wand is pointing right at it. But anyways, this guy, I, I was, if I was reading this straight tarot, I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily assign the emperor to be any kind of an emotional rescue thing. I would assign him to be more of a boss or a politician or somebody who owns their own business, you know, things like that. He's more of a man in the world, you know, he's out there and he's in the physical world and he's got clout, you know, he's that kind of person. But it doesn't mean that he couldn't be both or, or you know, we're reading for a lot of different people. It, it, he is looking at this spread, though, he is surrounded by emotional cards. So maybe they wanted me to really push that emotional rescue kind of thing um, through. Um, secondly, though... Say he is somebody, like, well, say that the, it's, it's a judge, even, you know, and then the court case is over. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make this stop, you know, this energy stop. Or are you stressed out about money? And he calls and says, he or she calls and says, you got the job. Then it's, this stops, you know. That's what I want to say. That's just me as the tarot reader, not going into um, song lyrics that are coming through so much. But I think they're relevant, too, okay, Pisces. Um... Four rods, kind of swords, kind of the same thing. Like I was saying, you know, um, just be, wait for it to come. Be, you know, in a space of receiving. This is a month of receiving for you. So this is the, the cards are telling us that's where you need to be. Okay, all right, Pisces. Let's get into this uh, other card for you, the my animal totem deck. Yeah, this is available too in a coloring book. I don't know if I'm talk about the coloring books. I always have them over here, but I just looked over and saw this. You know, and it has a journal space and stuff like that too. They all are. These are not just um, coloring books. They are like kind of workbooks too, uh, for a spiritual growth and stuff like that. Okay, but um, and I have my tarot book too. I forgot to get it out, but it's around here somewhere. <laughs> if you look at your rising sign or moon, which you should, if you didn't, you know, it's good to check those messages out. I'll have it out for those, because I'm doing you first. I've been doing you in reverse order. That way I upload them in reverse order, and they end up in the right order in the end. But anyways, Pisces, what's your card here? Boy, am I looking at something, i got to tell you. Horse, feel. This is just, feel is just really vibing on that card. So horse. Now horse is about action, though. That's interesting. Magic, divination, astral travel. Now you could do astral travel, but... <laughs> Don't do too much in the outer world. It's more the inner world stuff. Journey. Ride like the wind of the furthest reaches. Expanding beyond your comfort zone and explore the realms of possibility. Well, when I read those words about expanding beyond your comfort zone, I just saw like this... I was here again with her, but then I just saw this like globe of light kind of emanating out all around you. And I just feel like that's what you do. Create it in your inner inner world. See it, feel it, feel it. You know, you gotta feel the, the feelings of it, sense it, and then it can, from this inner world, it can go outward, and it can become, it can come through in the other world. Okay. All right, Pisces. Hey, well, thanks for checking in on your monthly spread, and thank you guys for liking and subscribing and donating and buying my books and all my stuff that I have. Readings are available. I have a few different ones. And by the way, this is a great time to get your, uh, if it's your birthday, to get your year ahead reading that I do. That astrology report, it's only 22 bucks. 
It's like 60, 70 pages long, and it gives every aspect for every every day for the entire year, and then it shows long trending ones too. So it'll say like moon, the, like for a daily thing, but it also shows you like if there's a big aspect that's going on for a long time, and it also gives the interpretations for all the aspects. So it's a really valuable report. I I run my own every year for myself, and I refer to it often. But, you know, check it out up in the little eye in the sky up there. You can go to my site and find everything. If you like the animal totems, there's a daily one there. I also post a weekly one on Facebook. All the links are also below the video. So, hey, Pisces, have a great birthday, a great solar return, a great solar new year, a great vernal equinox. A lot happening for you this month. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. This is Vicki Verley wishing you all the best, and I'll speak to you soon.